When it comes to Grayon math, we are asked to solve this problem. A paper cut out in the shape of an isosceles right triangle is folded in such a way that one vertex meets the edge of the opposite side and that the constructed edges M1 and M2 are parallel to each other. Refer to the figure below, which is not drawn to scale. If the length of the triangle's length is 2 units, what is the area of the shaded region? But before we go to the solution, may I request you to please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so we begin to attack this problem by redrawing this figure as the original isosceles right triangle. So we do that by drawing a vertical line from here down to this point and from this point to that point until these two lines intersect then since it is given that the total length of the leg of this isosceles right triangle is 2 then if we say that this is x this length m1 we say that this is x and this should be 2 minus x and next is we consider this isosceles right triangle this small one if that is an, an isosceles right triangle then this should be x then this length should be x square root of 2 for an isosceles right triangle next is we notice that if we fold this isosceles right triangle back to the folded form then we see that these two segments coincide and that they are congruent and we are to say that the value of x square root of 2 is equal to 2 minus x next is we need to solve for x on this equation then we just simply square both sides then we have 2x square is equal to 4 minus 4x plus x square then we simply put all the terms on the right hand side to the left hand side then we have x square plus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0 then we just need to solve this resulting quadratic equation then we have this solved by completing the square so by completing the squares we have to isolate this and get the half of this 4 so we have x square plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 then square that then we have 4 plus 4 then we have to put this on the right hand side then we have uh, 4 then since we added 4 on the left hand side then we have 2 add 4 here so this becomes 8 so this x squared plus 4 x plus 4 can be written as x plus 2 since the squares are completed then we take the square root of both sides then we have x plus 2 is equal to 2 square root of 2 then we have x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 square root of 2 but actually we are only to get this positive value because there will there is always no negative distance so the only answer is x is equal to 2 square root of 2 minus 2 
Next is we find the value of 2 minus x. And 2 minus x is equal to x times square root of 2. And since we got x as 2 square root of 2 minus 2, then we just need to multiply this by square root of 2. Then we have 2 square root of 2 times square root of 2 will be, that would be 4 minus 2 square root of 2. That is the value for 2 minus x. Okay, so next is we consider this fact that the folded region, when, when you unfold it, then if you combine these two regions, the unfolded, the, this one unshaded, and the shaded, the blue region, they form a parallelogram. And this parallelogram has a side of 2 minus x and its opposite side is m2, which is also 2 minus x. And this is actually a side of the triangle m2. And this length, we can label this as the height of the triangle, this is x. And with that, we are now ready to find the area of the triangle. Okay, so to find the area of the triangle or the shaded region, then we have area is equal to one half times base times the height. In this case, the base is actually two minus x, which is four minus two square root of two. And the height, which is x, that will be equal to 2 square root of 2 minus 2. Then, we simplify this. Then we have area is equal to 1 half times 4 times 2 square root of 2. That would be 8 square root of 2. Then, this becomes 2 times 2, 4 times 2, that would be 8, but negative. Then same with these two outer terms, that would be negative 8. Then for this n terms, we have positive 4 square root of 2. Then this becomes area is equal to 1 half times 8 square root of 2 plus 4, that will be 12 square root of 2 minus 16. Then if we try to factor out the 2, then we have area is equal to 1 half times 2 times 6 square root of 2 minus 8. So we just need to cancel this and we have area is equal to 6 square root of 2 minus 8 square units. And that is our answer. Now, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you would like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.